still wants to be sure I'm not in the man's house. No, it's okay. It's okay. You don't owe me any explanation. It's your house. I'll show you around. It's fine. I hope you're seeing your house now. Hmm? Can you see everywhere? Do you still want me to go into the kitchen? I shouldn't go into the kitchen. Are you fine? Come on now. It's like that you do that to my gentle heart, knowing how much you love me. But you know how much I love you. You shouldn't trouble your heart over nothing. All right. It's just going to be something for you to yourself to eat, okay? You're just annoying me, I swear. Please, just try and pay your rent next week. Please. You know I don't have money again. I'm, I'm not working. All thanks to you. Thanks to your act of jealousy. Yes, I remember. But you know I don't have any money at the moment. But I'll work out something. Just... Just... Alison, what about the money I gave you? You promised to pay me back and you've not said anything about it. Maybe I'm going to pay you back now. Just I don't have it at the moment. But don't worry, I'll turn up something again, yeah, please. Gosh, I don't know what we are going to do because as it is, I don't want any embarrassment from that landlord again. I don't like it. I know, I know. Don't worry, I'll turn up something, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm going out. I know, out. I know. I'm, but the car is not starting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Well, the car is not starting? I, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I sorry. I'm sorry. trying to start the car, but it's not, it's not starting. I don't know why this car is always embarrassing me everywhere I go. I, um, sir, just give me a sec. I'm just trying to figure no, out no, what no, the it's problem okay. is. Okay? It's okay. It, 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 it's fine. Uh, do you know what the problem is? I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know what? Open the bonnet. Let, let's see. Okay. Ah, uh, listen. Don't mind me. I don't know much about cars, man. But I like to think that you have a mechanic, right? You you call him to come. Yes, my mechanic is not around. He's in Ibadan currently. Ah, uh, okay. You know what? I would um, I'll call I'll call Aaron. No, sorry. I don't, who is Aaron? My, my mechanic, he's, he's fantastic, he knows cars. Sir, I don't know what his charges are, because my mechanic, he can fix the car without me paying, and until I have the money to pay. It's fine, um, I'll take care of it. Besides, everyone is quite reasonable. Okay, I, I'll, I'll, I'll handle it. Are you, are you serious? I'll handle it. It's, it's, this, this really is... It. By the way, how, 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 how do you go? I'll, I'll use a cab. What's the point now? You know, first off, let's get the security guys um, to, you know, just roll it off and then... Uh, I'll drop you off. Security? Sir, please, I don't, want to, I don't want you to go through that hassle. You've, you've done enough already. You know, adults Security. can complain when they are being hassled, right? I'm not complaining, darling. Huh? You're not hassling me. I've, I've got a few. Yeah, you're in luck. I've got time to spare. I'll take you where I go. Thank you so much. You're such a nice person. Are you a phone to be? Am I? Yes, you are. <laughs> you see, a lot of people have described me in so many different ways, but your description of me is the most wonderful <laughs> of them all. Thank you. I've had a good day. What a memorable day. Oh. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for accepting this very cynical me. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Please don't forget to fix my call. I will not, I will not. I don't know what you're doing tomorrow. I'm actually thinking you come out so we go check the car tomorrow. Well, will you be working? Um, no, I'm, I'm off tomorrow. Okay, so we have a date then. Something like that? Yeah, a date it is. I, I do. Have a good day. See you tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you and bye. I'm all good evening. I didn't know you were coming. What? How was your trip? Can I help you? Let me open the gate. Mama, you didn't tell me you'd be coming. Mm. I wasn't expecting you. Really? 
So I should now take permission from a fruitless tree like you before coming to my son's house. <laughs> Wonders they say shall never end. Eh? What I'm trying to say is that I would have waited for you to come before, before going out. I mean, I, so, I, so I don't keep you outside waiting. You purposely locked me out. I ran away with one of your numerous boyfriends. Yes. Which boyfriend? And why will I intentionally lock you outside? Pretender. Didn't I see him drop you? You mean, Mama, that guy I met today is a good Samaritan who brought me back home because my car couldn't start. A white liar. You think you are lying to a baby? Eh? For all this was, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for locking you outside. Trust me, I would never intentionally lock you out. I'll just go upstairs and change it to something more casual so I can make prepare something for you to eat. Leave my pack alone. Don't, don't you dare eat. Did I ask you for any assistance? I am asking you for grandchildren. I'm not for you trying to become a good Samaritan to me. Don't let me dear see you touch this bag with those your filthy hands. Baby, it's Mama. I, I just returned home only for me to see her standing outside. But she didn't tell me she'll be coming. She should call you and give you enough notice before she comes to the house. It's okay. I just feel bad, really. That's why I'm calling you and to let you know she's at home. Well, you're right. But I hope she's not giving you any trouble. No, just the usual. Give me grandchildren. Give me grandchildren. You know she's right. Then babe, come back. Come back. Nine years of marriage. Come back. Huh? People are already talking. Let them work. We will make our children soonest. We're not competing with anybody, are we? I'm tired of talking about this matter. It's fine. Let me give her my food. Alright, my love. Okay. Because I I've just I'll keep talking and talking and talking about this. You're not even listening. I love you. Oh no, I love you too. Confused right now. My food is ready. I bring it here. Can I just take your bag inside? Did I ask for your assistance? Eh? So where's the food? Open it. If the food is not enough, I say I have more in the kitchen. Is this what you call food? Yeah. I'm asking you! Do I look like a prisoner or a hungry woman? I'm asking you! Mama, why are you, why are you treating me this way? Why? Mama, what have I done? I'm like, I'm like a daughter to you. Why treat me like, like an outcast? That is exactly what you are, an outcast. Take your time with me. Get the hell out of my way! Barren woman! Bad luck woman! Fool!
Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. Goodest morning to you, my darling. How was your night? Yeah, that's good. So, so, so. So, so. Why? No, no further questions, please. <laughs> <laughs> I see. All right. So, um, what time are you stepping out so we can go look at your car? Um, I've got things to do in the house here and, um, uh, let's say 4 p.m. Too late. Or is it 3.30? Still too late, baby. 3 p.m.? <laughs> uh, you know what I was thinking? I was actually thinking that, you know, you step out, we look at your car, we still have some time to have lunch. What I say? So what do you want? You know what? I know you have some chores to do. All right, so why don't you clean the bedroom, clean the living room, clean the house, and when you're done with all of that, you let me know. Compound? Nah, that one I think you might want to leave to for another day. <laughs> this guy, you wizard. <laughs> well, if that's what you call me, I'll take it. That's it. I'll How did you know my plans? Certain things are left unsaid. Huh? <laughs> Get off my phone. Get off my phone. Get off. See you later. Christine. I like you. Well, you like the sight of this, right? Yeah. Um, so should I place other orders? For us to... What, uh, what would you like? Okay, uh, maybe she just... I don't know, just place another... Are you sure you'd like what I order? I should. You're certain? I guess so. Alright, please come. Okay, yes, sir. Um, my usual. Right? The usual, yeah, for, for the lady. My usual for the lady. No problems are noted. What's your usual? I, uh, I'm here to surprise you. When it gets here, you, you, you'd you like it, though. Know? I like so it like hot. It. Ah, so you like it hot? What did you just say? I just, I mean, what does he like hot? <laughs> <laughs> you like it really hot. I like it hot, baby. <laughs> really hot. Really, really hot. Where my car be ready? I don't understand. Shay is you and I that went to see the mechanic, and then he told us what he told us. Now you're asking me. Where's my car going to be ready? You're trying to kill me, baby. You're stressing me out. <laughs> I, well, I, but did you forget what he said? He said, let's give him more time so that he would look through and see if there are other faults in the car. You know, so that he can do a thorough job. Being that it was the first time that you're patronizing him through me. That's what he said. He's your personal mechanic. So I, I, I just want you to hasten things up. Exactly. Because I need my car to move around. That's why. You have my car to move around. Also, now you want me to be dependent on you. It won't be a bad thing now, baby. No, what, I'm, not used to I'm, that. I'm volunteering. I could be your driver if you want me to drive you. Like I could ride you, drive you, wherever you want to go. No, seriously, now, come on. I'm at your service. Mm -hmm. Every time. Oh my God, what am I doing with this guy? God, he's such a nice person. But my husband loves me, and I love him too. No, I can't, I can't. I can't do anything stupid with him. Paige and him will make a good couple. Yes, I'll call Paige. I'll call Paige. Hey, girl. I'm okay. <laughs> Shut up. We have, can you come to the house tomorrow? I have not seen you, babe. Just, can you could just come? Come to the house. There's something, something very, very important. I know. Just come tomorrow. Okay. Oh. 
morning. Keep your good morning to yourself. Oh, Who told God. you that the morning is good? Eh? Let me tell you. I want you to leave my son's house this minute before the count of three. Mama, what? Please. Mama, please. Mama, hold on. Mama, what is it? What have I done again? I just went downstairs to make you breakfast. We are tired of you. Pack your things and go back to your parents' house. Eh? Is it by force? Well, my eh? husband has not told me he's tired of me. And, and I'm also not tired of him. You, know, you can never be tired of him because you don't want to lose your grip on him. Since you have been living in this house, give me grandchildren. No. All the money my son has been sending to you, give me part of it. No. Wait, Mama, you said all the money your son has been sending to who? To me? Yes. Let me make you understand something. Now, understand Mama. what? In case you don't know, the rent for this house is due and your son is not capable of paying for it. Mama, all the money I've been sending to you, they're from me and not from your son. It is just to cover his shame. Sometimes I even send money to him. Just so you know, you can call him now and ask him. Liar. Bloody liar, that is what you are. There is nobody that goes to that overseas that does not make it. So my own son's own will not be an exception. Okay. So what are you telling me? Eh? If my son is not sending money to you, why don't you leave his house and leave us? Let us have our peace. We are tired of you. Go. Go back to your parents. Eh? I will, I will let him, I will call your son. He has to be aware of everything that's going on. Uh, whatever you want to do, do fast. I am waiting for you. Go and bring your things and leave this house. I've told you my own. Hold on, let me just, let me give it to her now. Uh-huh. What are your things? I want to lock my son's door. Can you hear that? My husband... I don't want to speak to anybody until you put your things and leave this house. My husband wants to speak with you, Mama. He's on video call. Look at it. Mama? Uh-huh. What is the meaning of this? Why are you suffocating my wife with trouble? And unless you want as a dad. Alison, you are my only son. This woman here is a witch. She needs to leave this house immediately. For how long have you been married to her, by the way? Nine years! Nine good years! And she has nothing to show for it. Not even a miscarriage. Mama, children are gifts from God. And my wife and I will wait to receive our gift from God. See, I understand how you feel, okay? But I'm really around. So how is she supposed to get pregnant? Uh, but you came in between. Just one meeting. We make her to become pregnant. If she is fertile. But she is not! Mama, my wife is better, okay? Please, I just give us enough time. We have done it, we have to spend enough time together. I have explained this to you several times, just leave my wife alone. Hi! This witch has bewitched my son to always be on her side. Whenever any matter arises, she will win. It will never happen. Alison, you need to marry another wife who will bear for children. Who will give us all things that will continue to, to carry on with the family name? This one, she is barren. She is fruitless. She can't have children. I am surprised that you are behaving like this. And what is the guarantee that the, the one you will bring will bring children? And what is it? Is it Christine or no one else? The guarantee is very clear, my son. You see, this is your casting here. She has been going around with all the whole men. Every long thing penetrates her. She has no choice. Everything called man is a speck. Mama, that is not a good description of my wife. I know my wife better than you do. Okay? Please, I'm telling you, leave her alone. No, my son. She can never remain in this house. She must leave this house today, this morning. Then, then Mama, Mama, listen to me. As she's leaving, eh? just understand something. I will not come back to Nigeria again. Are you threatening me? I, your mother. You are threatening me because you are my only son. Eh? Mama, mama, I, I am not threatening you. It's a promise. Okay? Please, just go to your own house. Like I said, when I come back, we'll sort things out. Leave her alone, please. Leave her. Go home. I'm begging you now, mama. Please go home. 
The battle has not ended. Oh no! He who fights and runs away will live to fight for another day. Alison is my only son. He will surely come back. Then we will know who the real winner is. Take your phone. Oh, take your phone. Wish. Body women. Wish. trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please try again. Hey. How are you? Hey. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I've been calling you all morning. You're not taking your call, so I decided to show up. You know? Oh, wow. That wow. way I'm sure you're fine. You okay? Nothing serious. No, no, you're not. You're not. You're not okay. Look at you. It's in your eyes. What is it? Just tired. Oh no. Just tired about life. Tired. I know. Listen, I know it gets hard. It gets it gets really hard sometimes, but don't give up. Don't give up. All right. There is hope. You have life, so there is hope. You know what they say? At the end of every tunnel, there is light. I don't think there's light at the end of my own tunnel. There's no light. My life is full of darkness. Mm -mm. There is light. Remember that at the end of every darkness, there'll be light. Because the sun will rise. Huh? I've Come been on. married for nine years. What? So, what? You what? You're, you're married? Sorry, I didn't tell you. Oh. No, I'm, look, my husband doesn't stay here. He's abroad. If I calculate all the time we, we've spent with each other, it's not more than two months. And the last time he visited was three years ago. Hmm. 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 I, I didn't know you were married. Sorry about that. Sorry, I didn't yeah. tell you. It's okay. I'm just tired. I'm tired about everything. Because I fend for myself and I also send money to him. It's crazy. 
crazy. You what again? You sent money to... I thought it, it's meant to be the other way around. Why are you sending money to him? He's abroad. I, I know. Okay, so uh, how about your kids? Well, I, don't, I don't see them around. Well, uh, well, why I send money to my husband abroad is... I don't know, maybe it's because I love him. Okay. And for kids, we don't have any yet. Oh, okay. Um, oh boy, I... You sound stupid, I know. I know, I, I see, I see. This must be really, really hard. Very hard. Yeah. But you know, it, it worries me that you still send money to him abroad. I mean, how much do you even earn from your place of work? You know, you must have some... I got sacked. I was a receptionist. And I used to earn 150k monthly. What you used to... You got... I got sacked You got sacked. Oh. My boss, I refused. Sleeping with my boss, dating him. And ever since then, it's been difficult to get in a job because everyone is interested in my body. My ah, that's my that's not... Hey, 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 girl! Hey. Mm. Hi. You don't look good. Why? Come here. What is it this time? You know me too well. What is wrong with you? No, you don't look good. I know, I know. My mother-in-law just left here. Babe, it was hell. It was my husband that drove her away. She almost threw me out of the house. Are you serious? I kid you not. So for crying out loud, her son should come back to put an end to all this. I know. Even uncle called me and was complaining that he's not happy about how Alison abandoned you all by yourself. Come on, why is she stressing you now? It's crazy, like she was... She... Ah, God, that woman. Oh, that woman. Sorry. I've just been here thinking. It's okay, my darling. Trent, I'm so... I'm so sorry about my emotions. Sorry. It's okay. It's fine. I'll Sorry, um, meet my cousin. My cousin Paige. Paige, my friend. He's such a cool guy. He's kind-hearted. He's amiable. He's fun to be with. Wow. Nice to meet you, Paige. Nice to meet you too. Babe, I'm hungry. Do you have anything in the kitchen? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. You know what? I have a few rounds to make in town. I have to go. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for stopping by. But here, listen to me. Do not despair. Okay? Do not despair when you get to the end of that tunnel and you don't see light. Tap on me. I'll come alive. I'll be your light. Okay? I'll do everything within my power to ensure that you have a comfortable life. Because as it is, you're dealing with a lot. Okay? And I'll talk to a few friends to get you a good job. And it will take you from there. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Come on, now. hug me. It's okay. Come on. Eh? It's fine. All right. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. It's, it's okay. It's Thank nothing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Why is Trent? He just he just left. Oh really? Yeah. Babe, you haven't had anything to eat, am I right? Look, I lost appetite. I'm not hungry. Don't tell me because of that woman you call mother in law. You lost your appetite because of her. No now. Come on. She never reached to make you lose your appetite. Who is she? Listen. I'm going in there now to prepare something for you. I am restoring that appetite right away. Babe, you go chop. That woman never did to make you lose your appetite. Babe. I have told you, and that's my final decision. Can you imagine?
charge you such nonsense? He's asking for another one year. What nonsense? Babe, you have said it all. Do you know if you had spoken to this man in this man all the while, his, his senses would have come back to him. I mean, maybe he's taking you for granted or because you're trying to pet issues with him. Come on. I've told him if he does not return, eh, I'm getting a divorce. I'm, I'm packing out. Since over three years, nine years of marriage. The last time he came out was three years ago. Are you serious? Do you know I actually thought it was two years ago he came back? This doesn't even make sense. Asking for another year again. Babe, listen, let me tell you. When he comes back, the first thing you do is to go to the hospital to find out your fertility status. Then you can know when to hit the target. I know, that's exactly what I'm going to I do. I beg, make a pity for my uncle. Just a child. A child is enough for him. The old man is not asking for too much now. It's not even about my dad now, it's about me. <laughs> Babe? Hey, babe? Mm. I won't talk about the matter we consign me. What's that? Tell me, who was that handsome guy you introduced to me? Oh, <laughs> you entrance? Look, look, <laughs> look, I met him at the mall. He's a nice guy. So I'm thinking, I know your spec, and you know he's handsome, he's rich. He's intelligent. So I'm thinking that you two won't be a bad idea. I'm a married woman. Babe, mm -hmm. you are a smooth operator. Come on, man. <laughs> anyway, he appears to be a nice person. Yeah, he is nice. But it all depends on his kind of person, you know. Eh, that's why you get to know him. You date him now. It's not a bad idea to try. Eh, hey, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Let's see how exactly. he plays out. Let's see how he plays out. Exactly. Let's see how he plays out. Exactly. 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 <laughs> Hey you, good morning. Good morning, beautiful. I hope you had a wonderful night rest. Thank God. By the grace of God, it was good. Grace abides with us all, Kirsten. Well, I have called you this morning to let you know that you have a job interview slated for today. This morning. What interview? You need a job, don't you? And I promised to get you one, didn't I? Yes, I remember you said so, you said that to me, but you didn't give me details such as dates, the venue, who, has, who I'm seeing, nature of job, you know. Kirsten, you don't need all of that detail. Get there and I'll show you someone will be waiting for you. Wait, but <laughs> how am I going to move? Remember my car is with your mechanic. You worry too much. Listen, I have that covered. As we speak, Aaron, my driver, is on his way to yours with my car. So you can go to that interview with my car. Hey. Why? Why are you doing this? Is that important now? Kirsten, I want you to know that if you're a little kind to yourself, you can actually add some vibe to your life. Be kind to yourself. Okay? I will remember that. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I'll talk to you soon. Good luck. Hey girl. Morning. Oh my word. What? Babe, you look. Mm, are you serious? Oh my god, you look so beautiful, sweet. Thank you. So, where are you after this morning looking all <laughs> gorgeous? Anyway, you know, remember Trent said he'll get me a job? Yeah. Only for him to call me this morning that I have an interview by 10 a.m. Really? I'm shocked. So quick. As in the meeting, I'm also surprised. That's what I'm thinking. I'm asking. That's is it genuine? Is such... No, 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 babe. It is genuine. Job in Nigeria is about who you know, not even about your qualification or your experience. So come on, babe. I, I, I just pray to work. I'll be so happy. And guess what? He's sending his driver to come pick me up. 
God bless him. Amen. That guy is because such a good guy. He is. He is. Me say they fear. I don't even understand. Oh. I myself mean, so fear they catch me say. God bless him. God bless him. Hello. Sorry. He's driving. Okay. Um. You're outside my gate. Alright. I'm coming outside. I'm coming out now. Yeah. I'm coming out. Thank you. You don't come. He sent his driver to pick you. Pick me up. Are yes. You? I'm telling you, babe. Good luck, babe. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All the best. All the best. Thank Bring thank the hope. Thank you. I pray for you. Good job. <laughs> wow. This guy is actually a big guy. He's not nice. All the best, sis. Hello. Yes, I'm on my way there now. Aaron is here. I saw your message, but I only saw the address. <laughs> What's the nature of the job? So I just prepare myself. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, baby. Hmm. Hello? Yes, I just finished now. I just came out. Congratulations for what? I wasn't interviewed. I was only told to bow down and go. As in just bow down and go. That's it. I'm outside. I'm just about leaving. Are you serious? Ah, tell me, how did it go? My sister, I don't know. I just don't know because I don't get it. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know now. How am I supposed to know when all I was told to do was bow and go? What does bow and go got to do with interview? Same thing I asked Trento and he was telling me that I'm not supposed to stress myself over getting a job. Oh, you called him already? Why won't I call him? When all I was told to do was bow and go, you and I know that's not an interview now. Babe, this is Nigeria. Relax now. I beg which kind of thing Nigeria be this one? But I was asking if it was going to be genuine and you said yes. Can I go for an interview? I was expecting them to ask me like no, some serious question. Do you know what I said in this school? Babe. Oh, it's such an amazing experience. Like, one thing I noticed about them there, and that's the workers, they are all experts and novices at the same time because they all know professionals, no one is above mistake. But it's quite cool. How do you know I love such a place? Because you're beautiful, baby. You're such, you're such a sweet person, and I want you to have a comfortable life. So I, I sent you there because I know you fit right in. That's why. Thank you. May God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Amen, amen. You know, I spoke with the MD about your pay, and he said that you should manage what they're offering for now, that as time goes on, they'll up it. I should manage? You're right. Like, they're paying me 500,000 naira. My former place of work, oh my God, I was earning 150k. Are <laughs> <laughs> you serious? Well, they'll up it. They'll up it later. Yeah, that's what he said. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Your Thank phone you. Keeps ringing. You don't want to take it. Uh, no, no. Why? Who is it? My landlord, my rent is due. Oh, so, sorry. Yeah. Um, my husband's dad is going to pay later. He wants me to pay up the... He just wants me to pay and he's going to reimburse me later. But I don't have the money yet. I don't have the complete money. I have part of it, but... And that's not a problem. Pick his call. Tell him you're going to sort him out in two weeks. I don't want my landlord to ruin this moment we're having now. <laughs> I see. It's okay. You know what? Um, if he calls again... I'll pick up and I'll explain things to him. No, you're not going to. No, no, no. I bet he's not going to call again. He will call again. No, he's called about four times. Trust me, he will call. He will keep calling till he gets his money. That's how they he's do. He's not going to call again. I know him. Bet. I know him. I know him. He gives me just 10 you missed see. calls every day and he's not going to call back. Just 10 missed calls. Now, how many missed calls do we have? 10 already. That's why I know he's not going to call again. Oh, boy. Oh. I told you. I told you. you know, let me let me talk to you. Hello. Hello. Hel yeah. Um, hello, sir. Yes. Um, 
Yes, this is um, Christine's phone. Oh, my name is Trent. I'm her friend. Yes, sir. I, I know, I know, sir. Uh, she already uh, mentioned to me that you're the landlord and you've been calling. Y yes, sir. She told me. She told me everything. Yes, sir. She told me. She told me about the situation with the rent. I know, sir. I know how upsetting that can be. But, sir, um, if you can just give her two weeks. Two weeks, sir. Oh, no, 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 Yes, sir. I'll call you. I promise. I promise. It, it, it really hasn't been easy with her, sir. So, the delays are not intentional. Okay, sir. Oh, I'll call you. On my honor, sir. I'll call you. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, sir. Bye. Whoa. What the man is... Are you serious? I was really upset saying that, you know, that this is what he goes through every time you have to pay your rent and, you know, he calls you don't pay and then that you and your husband, you guys delay rent a lot and... But it's, it's fine. I'll call him in the evening. I'll just get his number, call him and then we'll sort this out. Okay? Why, why are you doing all this for me? Because you're a good person, babe. You deserve a good life. I think that a life better than the one that your husband offers you, that's the kind of life I want to give to you. I don't get it. Are you trying to say my husband isn't taking good care of me? That, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, so that what you're, saying? I'm saying you're suffering and it's not I'm right. suffering? Should have calmed down. No, that's that's Are not you how serious? I serious? So you're raising your voice right in public. No, but you just said I'm suffering, that my husband is not no, taking good care of me. Not, not that way. I just want to, I'm, I'm saying that I want to be your man. If you, if you let's stay. Let's stay. Come on. But I'm suffering. Why would you say a thing like that? Uh-uh. I don't know. Bye, right, man. Good evening, man. Evening. So everything don't do okay now? Very, very okay. Now. You fixed every, all the problems. Are you sure? Very, very sure. So this can no go give me wahala again? At all. Not give you. Ha! I did fear. No. Don't eh? be afraid. Not give you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Let me get your money. No, eh? no, How no, much is it? Don't worry now. My guy has taken care of everything. He has paid? Everything. Even transport money. Might don't, just give don't worry now. He, he has taken care of everything. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you very much. Eh? Thank you. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Regards to him, I beg, eh? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, who was that? <laughs> See now. Yeah, a delivery guy brought it. Although he didn't give him to Ahmed. Oh, he gave it to Ahmed. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Trent paid my rent. Are you serious? <laughs> he just he just fixed my car. He sent his mechanic to bring it. This guy, I don't know. Babe, that guy loves you. This is pure demonstration of love. Pure love. Yeah, which kind of love? You need to explain now. Agape love. <laughs> <laughs> See, you think I don't know what you want to do, huh? I know be picky, you know. The reason why you called me, you want to match make us, eh? Uh -huh, so, so, <laughs> hey, I, you think I don't know? Now why you call me now? But baby, you no know, go walk. See, that guy loves you. Stop saying that. I'm married. Stop saying Forget that. Forget married to who? When last did you see your husband? When last did he visit you? I mean, married to who? Someone you are working for and sending money over there. You don't even know if he has family over there. Forget it. Now husband, they your front. So you better grab it. <laughs> Oh, 
God, I'm falling for Trent. He's such a nice guy. He's tender love and care for me. Paige was right. I love Trent. I have stayed strong all my life. Well, life keeps messing around with me. Ah, if only this was a dream. God, God help me. Help me. I don't want to do anything stupid. My husband loves me and I love him too. You. Hey. Hi. Um, you, you do keep, keep it directed me right. Because only Cupid knows that I'm here. It's good to see you. It's so good to see you too. Um... Ah, it's fine. You don't have to see anything. I understand perfectly why you reacted the way you did. I could have done the same. If I wear your shoes, well, you should have taken my calls. Yeah. You know? Huh? Sorry about that. It's okay. I want you, Kirsten. I want you, Sula. I want you to give me a chance to, to apologize to you. You know I miss you. I love you. You know that. Huh? Chris? You've missed me too, right? It's been three years. Why? That was the last time my husband reached her. Oh. <laughs> you must be a woman from a different planet. What? Three years? She's been faithful. But I do not regret this because she deserves everything. You're more than a benefactor to me. Thank you so much. Can you come out? 
Yeah. We gotta work something out. I'm positive. That's not going to be easy. Can we just leave that for now, please? I just want you. Welcome home. Yes! Oh, sweet home! Beautiful! What? What is it saying? Well, it looks different to me, though. I see. Come here. Miss Pete. I hope you so much. You know, I always lost hope. I thought you would never return. I assured you I was going to come back. Even though it wasn't time, I assured you I'll come back. I couldn't afford coming to meet divorce papers now. No, I was just kidding. <laughs> I'd never go to court for you. Never. Mm. I know you love me indefatigably. <laughs> and I love you too. And I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. To protect you from everyone, including my mother. But I'm here now to take care of you the way a woman should. I love you, Kirsten. I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Mmm. <laughs> I should have come to help you in the kitchen. Ah, it's okay. Just to help you arrange the table or something. So after this, yes, I'm going to prepare the salad soup. Mmm, I've missed that, you know. <laughs> I know your best soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Mmm. <laughs> This is so good, you know. Oh my gosh. You know, it's not just the fact that it's a homemade meal. It's the way you cook it. So special, so nice. Especially for your husband. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Who is this strength person? We keep calling. That's like the third time. I know. Remember the guy I told you about that secured me a job? His own. A guy. Why would a guy get you a job? Because he's a nice person. Nice guy. Well, tell this nice guy that your husband is now around and that he should stay away. Can you outgrow this jealousy? No, I cannot outgrow this jealousy. Okay? Why would a guy be calling you in the first place? I mean, when did this friendship start? Why? Why would he be your friend? Why? Oh, because I'm, because I'm there around? Why? Are you okay? Why? Everything okay? Why what? What did I? Are you okay? Is there any problem? What, 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 what is it? But I told you you'll be coming into Nigeria. What? Who will be coming into Nigeria? What are you talking about? My husband. Oh, Alison, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. You gotta forgive me, alright? I'm sorry. Listen, I, it didn't hit me, alright? It totally hit you, didn't it? And, and, and the point that I, I, I remember, I, I, I stopped calling because I, I knew that at that point you, you would be home. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. It wasn't on purpose. I'm sorry. Can I believe me? Come on, relax. 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 So let's calm down. Calm down. Come on. Let's talk. Let's let me just, just sit. Let's just talk. Say whatever you want to say here. And say it quickly. No, he did not. I, I know. And he fled up the moment I mentioned your name. And he's, he's wanted me to stop seeing you. I'm sorry. And what did you say to him? You agreed? Kristen, did you agree? He's my husband. I am your husband. No, you're not. Kristen, I am your husband. Stop you know it. That I love you. No, you're not. With all of my heart. Allow me to make that decision no. independently. Stop Let it. Let me help you. You told me that you wanted out. Let me help you, baby. Come on. Let me do what I want, please. It's my affair, please. So it's like that now, huh? Or you want to keep me to the car? No. I'm sorry. Why are you hurting me? I don't need to hurt you. I'm sorry. Look, I love you. 
Even though I don't hate my husband, so I love you both specially, yeah? Mm. I really do love you. Oh, don't try to block it, me now. You know, I just go. I. Look, I'm. I'm sorry. You promised me love, Kirsty. What is your promise of love? I really do love you. And I promise not to deny you my body anytime, any day. I promise. I promise, like, if the opportunity to become your wife comes, I will embrace it. Embrace it now, baby. Please. I want you. Please, don't, don't hurt me, please. Allow, the, allow nature to choose our future for us, please. Don't make me fight for you like this. I want you to be mine. Please, baby. Can you not see that I love you with all of my heart? Please. And I'll listen, go. Please, please. Stop! Please. Stop it. Baby, please. Baby, please. Ah. 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 My goodness. I love you. <laughs> you certainly know how to give it to me perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Mm. A cool kiss from my cool lips. You're flattering <laughs> me now. <laughs> mm. I love you. We need to talk. I may guess. This is about my mother and children, right? Yeah. Mm. Would you think your mom has been agitated? Because... We've been married for nine years. My friends who got married the same time we did, some of them have four oh, kids. Babes, you... babes, listen. We're not in competition with anybody. I know. We are for himself. I know. And he's not the first who starts the race that ends the race. You know that, right? I know that. But I'm just saying we're looking into the matter. So what are you insinuating? Visit the hospital. We'll that, check ourselves. Will that make you happy? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. You want to go for our dudes? Come on now. Believe me, I am fertile. I'm very fertile. I mean, yes, this might be the second test, but come on, I cannot be impotent. I come on, listen, babes. Don't touch me. Don't, don't touch me. Don't. Baby, listen to me, okay? I am 1,000% fertile, okay? This doctor is a quack doctor. Listen, let's go for a third test. Oh, and, bitch. and listen, I will never go through that stress again with you. Kirsten, I'm done with you. Let's go. Kirsten, Kirsten, Kirsten. They would deceive me for my goodness! How can this be? I mean not to. Oh. Baby! Baby! Hey, Dad. Hey, George. Hey, what's up? How's the home? Man, I'm in turmoil. Is anybody sick or something? No, ma. You know I've been trying to get my Nigerian wife pregnant. Um, you are able to You're a careful man. Uh, I wish it was that easy. Yeah, my wife and I, we went to the clinic for a medical checkup. You know, me for me, I just want to make sure she was STD free. Because my mother said she's been keeping male friends. Only for the doctor to turn around and tell me that I was impotent. I, how can I be impotent when I have two kids, Eileen and Axel? It's not possible you are impotent after two kids. And the sad thing is that my wife believes this bogus news. Listen, 
I'm just bringing the kids over for a checkup this week. I needed to take the hair sample. I wanted to do a, a paternity test, just for my own peace of mind, to make sure that they're my kids. I know they're my kids, but I just want to be sure that they're my kids. All right, no, no problem. I'll go as soon as possible. And when I get back from work, I'll let you know. All right. Thanks, bro. All right, bro. It's not what you think. This is what you've been doing, Abra. Yes. Please, forgive me, I am sorry. It's you I love. I only did that for the papers. For my papers and to stay in, to stay in the UK. That's all. Shut up! Shut up! Say that, don't say that. Please. Oh God, I am sorry. Get your fucking hands off me! Don't even touch me. Don't even touch me, God. To think I was walking here and sending money to you just to survive because I loved you. Oh God, that is it. No wonder you never wanted to come back. God! I am back here now. I love you. You are the only one I love. I will make it up to you. Everything. I will, I will give you my life. We will have kids together. We will do everything together. I will. That is my past. It will just it, forget those words. You are deceptive. I, 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 please, I'm sorry. Now, please forgive me. I am, I am, I am sorry. Babes, please, it's over. It can never, babes, 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 please, please. Okay, stop this. I'm begging you. You're begging me for what? For what exactly? For what? What? What did you do? What did you do? Yes. My family in the UK. Oh, your family. Go back to there. What a mistake. Listen, but I, I, I will correct that. Let's, let's, let's make a life together here. Yeah. Please go back to them. My darling. Excuse me. My darling, come on. Don't do this to me. Kirsten. 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 Babes. 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 I'm sorry. Please, I'm I will hit you. Baby, please, don't do this. I will hit you. Don't do this. I'm going to hit you. I'm don't do this! Hey, Dusty, please! I will hit you! Augustine? Hey! Why are you crying? Oh, no, no, come on. It's early. It's your husband again, right? Huh? It's him, right? It's your husband again. You know, before I ask what the problem is, first I want to know what will make any right thinking man make a beautiful goddess like you cry. That's early did they look to you, baby? You're broken. Only a man who lacks the rudiments of human value will do this to his woman. A man who has no conscience, a man who sold his soul to the devil. You know, sometimes really, you know, I think of your husband, I begin to ask myself, if God would find it in him to forgive him for the things that he does to you. It's my husband you're talking about here. Your husband. <laughs> Eli is a problem. Not every man deserves every woman. Now, I disagree. Not every man deserves every woman. Any man who cannot love a woman as much as that woman loves him, like I have seen you do with your husband, does not deserve that woman. My husband loves me. And no man will love me the way he does. You think so? So I know. Kirsten, love is an action word the last time I checked. Action, action. The things that we do, the things that we do before we begin to feel, the things that we see. Okay, love, selflessness, sometimes wickedness. Oh yeah, some people are really mean. Abuse, yeah. Abuse, emotional abuse, mental abuse, verbal abuse, 
，人们就夸：“哎呦，这场地好巧！”所以，我 begin to ask myself, why have you chosen to feel love in a relationship that has caused her so much pain? Why? Why? Do you not love yourself? Do you not have value for yourself? Why? I just came here to rest. <laughs> Can I rest my head a bit in your house? My house? Oh, come on, darling. This is not my house. This right here is our home. To feel at home here, Christine. I want you to make this your home, if you will. Stop crying. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. Look at you. It's too early in the day to be this way. I'm not even sure that man. Bothered to get you to eat something, and you're crying already. You know I could get into the kitchen and whip up something for you to eat. You're hungry? I thought so. Eh? I got you, baby. Alison, where are you going to? I'm going to look for my wife. I'm going to look for Kirsty, Mama. Why? Alison, why? Eh? Mama, what do you mean, why? You should be thanking your God that he has removed her from your life. Eh? Why are you going to look for her? This very particular woman you are going to look for, she might be so when I enjoy herself with one of our numerous boyfriends. And you are here giving yourself a headache. Mama, put yourself in her position. If you find out that your husband has a wife and children in, in the UK. How would you feel? And I didn't mention it to her. I will feel very happy, my son. I will be very, very happy because she did something for my darling husband which I couldn't do for him after so many years. Alison, the mistake you made was for you not to have come with your wife and children when you were coming from abroad. Eh? Let me ask you a question. What do you still want to do with the barren woman? Hmm? Mama, you have no conscience. I am going to look for Kirsten. And when I find her, even if I find her on top of another man, I will forgive her. Because I have done worse. There's food in the kitchen. Do you want to eat? Alison, come back here! Come back here! Oh my god! Oh! Anyway, anywhere you have gone to, you will surely come and meet me in this house. We must resolve this problem today. You're crying. That's not good. What has this man done to you? You've got to talk to me now. Huh? Come on. I don't know where to start because they might try to hold myself. They might lose it. I'll do that. Just talk. You'll feel better. Talk to me. My husband spends all his years abroad. Yeah. Building a family. He has another family abroad. Oh no. As we speak, my husband has a wife and two kids. Abroad. What? <sighs> it did that to you? That man is the devil's incarnate. How can he do that to a woman? Don't call him that. He's still my husband, please. He's not your husband. 
is a traitor. That's what it is. You don't tell me you're going back to him now, are you? I'm confused. I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. Just, just stay here with me. Hey. Hey, you. Hmm. You're up. What time is it? Past seven. Oh my god. What is it? I have to go home. Go where? I have to go back home. No, you're not going back there now, are you? Are you serious? Look, I love your personality, and you know that. But I'm a married woman. And if I have to divorce my husband, I'll need reasons to do so. What, that motherfucker has got two kids with another woman abroad? When well, you think that's sort of... You're still looking for a sufficient reason to leave him and file for divorce? That's not enough? But you know men are polygamous by nature. And if he has to marry another woman, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. The only reason I have a problem with it is he didn't tell me and now he has two kids. And I don't have any. And you have that as proof to file for divorce. Please, I have to go home. You don't have to. Good evening, Mama. Good evening, my son. So how did it go? Were you able to find your barren, promiscuous wife? I must stop. Please stop. I will not have you call my wife names. If anything, she deserves some respect. She doesn't deserve any respect. A woman who cannot bear children for her husband that sleeps from one man's bed to the other doesn't deserve one single respect. Ma, would you please stop, okay? I will not have you accusing my wife wrongly. I don't like it. I don't ask you to like it. All I know is that she must leave this house. You know, Mama, you are the instigator of all this mayhem. You know that, right? Because of all the information you fed me, has made me has turned me into this bitter and jealous man. I don't know why I listen. Good evening, Mama. I'll get somebody. Who told you that the evening is good? You better hold your good evening to yourself. Mama, stop. Good evening, my love. Where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere now. Where are you coming from now? I've been looking for you everywhere. My love. Mm.
Hey, Dr. Duncan. Listen, things are getting worse by the day. Yes, sir, I've not been able to run the test as you directed. I've been in Liverpool ever since. So when are you going back to Birmingham? I'm sure you will get the result within two weeks. Oh, man, I'm in the hot seat. My whole family is in jeopardy here. Come on, I need to fix this. I'm sorry, my man. You just find a way to fix it. Back on track. I'll get back to you. All right. Son, when is that barren woman going to leave this house? Eh? And to create enough space for my grandchildren to come and at least enjoy their grandmother's Mama, Mama, mom. stop, okay? Please. I, I don't need any more trouble. The, the one I'm facing right now is enough. Come on. Why are you like this? Is it because I want the best for you? Eh? Mama, I know what's best for me and Kirsten is best for me. I mean, come on, I didn't only cheat on this woman, I actually raised a family at her own expense. I mean, who does that? I love her with all my heart. And I think I, what I should be doing is be trying to convince her how much I love her and then try to keep her and make sure she understands that I can't live without her. This is my life, she's my woman, she's everything to me. I would, I want to... Hey, you would not dare such a thing. You will not dare beggar. Beggar for... Go and bring my grandchildren from my brother and their mother to come and enjoy the, 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 the warmth of, uh, of this country and their grandmother too, you are Mama? telling me. Mama, what is it? Look at this. You're right. What is this? Oh. Hey! God has vindicated me. I told you that I don't ever say anything I don't know about. Why would she Look at do this, this to me? Look I love this. her with all my heart. I love her with everything I have. Why would she do hey. this to me? Uh -huh. Why would she have time <laughs> to do this? Why would I loved you with all my heart. How could you do this to me? Yes. What is this? Yes. I love you with all my heart. Uh -huh. You are my life. How could you do this to me? What is this? Your promiscuity has brought you out. You said you are the most faithful woman. Now prove yourself. When really, you have time for this, I call you all the time. I video call you all the time. You are on the phone constantly. When really, do you have time for this? No, no, don't say anything. Just go upstairs. Pack your things and get out of my house. I will not share this house with a promiscuous woman. Get out of my house. Just, 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 just. Where is she going to? Where is she going to? Where is she going to? Just, just. Give me an hour, I'll go back my little pony. Be fast! Cast me! Cast me! Cast me! I'm going with her, leave her! Leave her, my son! Cast me! Leave her, son! Leave her, son! Leave her, son! Sit down! Leave her! Leave her! Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. See, I told you that oh, no. her! She is very, very good! No, no, no! no. It's about time. Uh, Why did you do it? Hey, darling. You know you showed up right on time. Why did you destroy my family? Why did you push me out from my house? You wanted out, didn't you? Yes, I wanted out, but I never asked for it. I never begged you for it. I never asked you to push me out of my house. Christine. I am trying to save you from emotional suffocation. You're a good woman. But you have suffered for way too long. Sweetheart, you need a new life. A fresh start. A breath of fresh air. Something fresh. Something different. You need a good man. A man who would love you. Care for you. I'll give this all to you if that man is me. I love you, baby. Can't you see it? I hate you with passion. Yes, you're a nice guy. You, yes, you've showered me with so much love and care. But this single act of yours, this act of betrayal, will I never forget. And never ever will I forgive you for it. So come anywhere close to you. My husband has asked me to leave the house, which I'm going to do with no regrets. But you will remain my greatest enemy for life. I did it for love. 
I did it for you. I did it because I wanted to bring you out of that emotional and marital frustration. You deserve the best. All I've ever wanted was to be your man. Please, marry me, Christine. And let me show you what love truly is. I love you so much with all my heart. I want to be the one who would love you like you deserve to be loved. I want you to be the mother of my children. I want you in my arms for the rest of my life. I want to be the man who loves you without reservations. I want to hold you up when you're down. I want to cry with you, baby, when you cry. And I want to be the man who laughs with you when you laugh. Please, be my wife. Christine, come on. Your intentions were good. But did you bother to ask me what I wanted for myself? What you did I beg you that I wanted out of my marriage? Did I beg you? Was I suffering? Yes, I was suffering. Was I complaining that I wanted out? Yes. But I wanted to do it my way. But I wanted to break up with my husband myself. Baby. Not the other way around. Oh, now I'm the last mogul on the list. Oh, no, oh now I'm the last mogul of the league. No, you're not. Give me a chance, baby. I'm here for you. Allow me to restore your joy completely. I can do it. I can make you happy forever. I'll do it. Trust me, I'll do it. You'll make me happy forever? Yes, baby, I can do it. Just say yes. Do you think you can make me happy forever? Yes, baby, I'll do it. Gosh, I hate you. I love you. I hate you. I love you. Goodbye, best friend. Don't do this, baby. Come on. My worst enemy. No. Goodbye. I love you, baby. So much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I cheated on you. But it, it was not intentional. I I was lonely and I needed something. I needed I needed a friend to talk to and and I fell for his charm. I'm sorry. Mama, I'm sorry. <sighs> Sit down. Where are you going to? Sit down. The barren woman has gone. Fruitless woman, what are you going to do with her again? Uh, sit down, relax yourself. Things are falling into place now. Ah! A promiscuous woman, what will you do with her? Barren, fruitless. Christine? Yeah. 
What is going on? What are you doing? Nothing, just... Oh, come on, Christy. Why are you resigning? Why? Trent's got to make the job. So? But you know, man, when you turn them down, they do everything possible to make you come begging. He might do anything to get back at me if I even tell him the company to sack me. Let me do it myself. Let me resign myself. Yes, you may have a point. But then why not allow him to do the sacking his way? Why not? That would be so shameful. So he will laugh last. Someone that blackmailed me. Doesn't make sense. Christine, you have been like this for long. Since morning. Why are you doing this to yourself? I'm talking you are still writing. Why are you doing Look, can this? Can you just let me be, please? Are you happy the way you are? You need to cheer up, girl. Please. Let me finish up. What is this? Me trying to get your attention, that's what. You're not talking to me. You're refusing to take my call. Because I don't take calls when people have nothing beneficial to discuss with. Come on now, Christine. We gotta talk. Alright? You've gotta let me talk to you. And if I don't, what will you do? Oh, I get it. You call the company to sack me? What? Look, before you exercise that useless power supremacy, I already tendered my resignation. Why get would, this guy out of here. Why would you do a thing like that? Listen, get... I won't do that. You need the job. I, I'm not gonna do that. I need that. the job. Yeah, you need the job. I don't need the job. You okay? need the job. I don't. Oh boy, come on, man. I'm not that petty. Listen, you I've, got petty. I've got conscience. You don't have conscience. Move this car out of here. I will bash this car. What, what? I will hit your car. Trust me, I will. <laughs> We've got to talk, right? You can't keep shutting me out. I'm here so we talk, so we'll talk. Okay. Yeah. Talk, talk. to the air. Trent, you are still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Look, I've done all I can for her to give you listening ear, but she refused. But I told you this, and you are still here. I'm waiting because I need to apologize to her. I have no peace inside of me without her forgiveness. Oh. Her forgiveness I seek and her forgiveness I must get. So I'll wait. You've been waiting since morning, you got no response and you still want to wait? Yes, I'll keep waiting. She's worth it. It's my time. It's not a waste of time. I'll wait. Oh, good luck then. I want to get to the mall to pick some stuff. Take care of yourself. Gate. Wait. Oh, Kent, what have I done to you? What have I done to you for crying out loud? Where is this restlessness from you? What? Please, let me talk to you, please. What? What do you want? Please. I'm dying inside. I need your forgiveness, please. Please, I, I can't sleep. My happiness and peace of mind depends on your forgiveness. Please, I beg you. Trent. My life will be in jeopardy if you don't forgive me. Just hear me out. Please, Trent. please. Trent, how, how many times did I call you? 
How many times did I call you? If you look at me very well, you will know I, I had a very busy day and I'm tired. Please, take this ring out of now, here. Please, let's talk. Tripsy! Please. I had, I had no business doing what I did to you. All right, sending your pictures and videos to your husband was totally childish, please. Give me a chance to make amends, please. You know one thing I hate about you? You're pompous, you're proud. Uh, and you think because you've got money, you can buy anything you want? You can't woo me with your money. Get out! I swear to Almighty God, if you don't move this vehicle out of here, I'm going to wreck it. Please, please, don't Just, do I will wash your car. Christine. What the? Hey, Dr. Duncan, how you doing, my friend? Oh, I'm good. Listen, could you give me a medical interpretation of the medical report you sent to me? I, I don't understand. It simply means you cannot impregnate a woman. In other words, you're impotent. Impotent? <laughs> um, Duncan, sorry. So how... How did Axel and Eileen come into existence? I'm their, I'm their father, right? The results said that uh, they're not your children, and of course, there's no way you can have children with that important status. <sighs> how, how, how did I produce them? I mean, they're my kids. I mean, Anne wouldn't lie to me. She said, I, I'm their father. She would, she, 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 she would lie to me. Well, it's you, my friend. I'm just as surprised as you are. I had to send the sample you sent to me together with that of your children to Liverpool Hospital, but which you know is the best in the country, and I got the same result. After all my investment, I invest my heart into this children. Wasted years. I mean, they're not my kids. I wouldn't know how you get around your stress and disappointment. I just have my sympathy, my friend. I will see you soon when you come back to London. Alison. Alison! Mama. Why are you doing this to yourself? Eh? Why are you drinking yourself to stupor? Do you want to kill yourself? Mama, I'm finished. We are finished in this family. After you and I, no more. God forbid, our family name will never die. Is that not the reason why Kirsten left you so that you can get married to another woman? Was, Moreover, you have children abroad. I was scammed, Mama. 
calmed. Which resort is this? Uh, and whose name is on it? All this while, all these years, I didn't know it was my fault. Your fault? Your fault in what sense? Is it not obvious that Kirsten could not conceive of children? But you, you are fertile. That is why you have children abroad. I asked a doctor friend of mine in the UK to perform a paternity test on Axel and Eileen. Turns out that I am not their father. Uncle Ben was right. I am impotent. It can never be true. That can never be true. Never! It is true, Mama. It is true. Alison, you are the only child from my late husband. And you have been the one carrying the family name all along. If there is anything you can do to bring yourself out of this odious situation, please do it. Otherwise, we will all perish. We will all perish. Hey! to get your boat off that chair and stop this weeping and find a way of getting out of this mess. Going this way is a recipe for disaster that will ruin our family entirely. So what do you suggest? Because I'm out of ideas. No, son. I still have one idea left. Which is? I want you to go back to your wife, Kirsten. <gasps> She's a good woman and she has a pitiable heart. Explain to her everything you told me about your foreign wife. She will understand. We have wronged her in the past. We will beg her to give us the opportunity to right our wrongs. I went to see her, but she wouldn't see me. I waited outside to no avail. What about her parents? She Did you go to her parents' place? She, when she left here, she went straight to Paige's place. Oh, Paige's place. Good. I want you to win Paige over. That way she can convince your wife to give you audience. Paige wasn't too happy to see me, but she let me come in. Kirsten won't come downstairs. But I'll do as you suggest. I will go through to, to Paige. If it means me going to beg her, I will do so. She is the only one who can give our family an heir. Wait, Mama, you mean... I should bring Kirsten back into this house so she can get pregnant for another man to give me a baby? Yes, son. We have to continue with the family name. Moreover, she's the only one who can keep your secret. It's okay. It's all right. I want you to understand this. Yeah? Oh my goodness. Alison, you are still here since morning I left for work. And I told you I'll wait here till I see her. Oh, I just wanted to hear me out. Listen, oh. she, she won't give me a chance. I mean, see, I'm going to remain here until she sees me. So what happens if night, if night falls? Oh, well, I will sleep here. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. <sighs> this is serious. Alison. I have actually done the best I can. I've spoken to my sister. I've asked her to give you audience, but she refused. Yeah, but I really... Talk to her again now. Please. Okay. Okay. Hold on, let me go in. Okay. All right? Okay. You, talk, you talk to her? Let me, let me go talk with her. I, I shouldn't come? Hold on, let me talk with her. Okay. Just hold on, okay? Okay. Hey babe. What's 
the problem now? What happened? Are you alright? What is it? Is there a problem? You. Me. Did you ask me to, for anything I didn't do? No. Then what? Alison is the problem here. Babe, please, I'm not interested. I'm not interested, please. Let's not talk about that, please. Kirsten, please. Uh... Just hear him out. Just mm. this one last time. If you say no, trust me, I will never disturb you with this again. Paige, let me save you the stress, eh? It's a no, 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 no. I don't see him now or forever, please. Oh. You know, some people find love and they grow in it and they're happy. Others, love is their downfall. And that's my case. So please, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Babe, I frowned at his treatment towards you at some time. Mm. But hey... Things are different. What is different? Oh, I remember. The only thing different is he abandoned me here for nine years and he went over there. And see, I don't want to talk about what I went through in the house of my mother-in-law. Babe, forget about what his mom did to you. Why would I forget Babe, about no, what his no, mom did to on. me? He wasn't. He was in his absence. He wasn't around. Okay, so when he came back, Uncle, what did he do? <sighs> Couldn't he have forgiven me for my mistake? And I'm asking you what? He, did not, he, he, he did not even allow me to defend myself. Rather, he threw me out like a piece of trash. And you're telling me to forgive him. I don't understand. It's a no, no, no for me. Please, case closed. Let's not talk about this, please. Please. Babe, please. please. That guy is out there. Hear him out. Just this one, one time. So he's here already? He's, he's there under the sun. He's mm. been there. You just want me Since to hear morning him I oh, left for don't. work and he's still there. Till now, as I speak with you, he is still there. Please, babe. Just to hear him out, Abby. I beg of you. It's okay. I'll hear him out. It's fine. Well, here he is. You guys, excuse me. Pregnant. Say, Yoga, you have 10 minutes to say whatever you want to say. If I were you, I would go straight to the point. And please, no, I'm sorry, because that phrase is long overused. Your time starts now. Okay, um, in light of not saying sorry, I just want to say to you, please forgive me. Okay, forgive me. I was wrong. Okay, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have treated you that way. I should have given you a chance to defend yourself. You know, I am so sorry. Please, I'm begging you forgive me. Unfortunately, I'm not even angry with you. Come to think of it, I wasn't supposed to be in your house because you have another family and I'm sure we'll be coming back very soon. There is no family. I was scammed. I accept my sympathy. Sorry about that. And your kids? I have no children. Aha, wow, wow, wow. I want you to look at this. Look at what? Do you think I need it? Let's look at this. Just, just, just look at this. And I want you to look at this. Yeah. Take it. Right. Do you do you see the difference? I'm not seeing anything different. All right. Do you see? Yeah. This says that I cannot impregnate a woman. This is mysterious. How can a man with two kids be tagged impotent? I don't understand. This story is becoming very interesting. <laughs> and scammed me. Aha, uh -huh, really? She said I was responsible for her pregnancy. Hmm. She pinned it on me. She told me she was pregnant and I let her move into my house. And then after the pregnancy, after Eileen, she got pregnant again. Oh. I mean, you think that all these years, I mean, I worked my ass off for her. Hmm. I mean, I, I have nothing now. Hmm. So now you're done raising another man's children. And eventually, you find out that you cannot impregnate a woman. Why are you coming to me? I mean, 
is not what you want me to do. Christine, I am the only surviving child okay. of my parents of five siblings that are now dead. Okay. In my condition, my family name will be extinct if I do nothing about it. What you want me to do? You are impotent. You cannot impregnate a woman. We don't. You can't have a family. What do you want me to do? I want you to come back home. Come back to our home so I can father this child. I beg you. Father what child? Are you stupid? Also, you think I'm stupid, Abby? I'm a fool, Abby. You went abroad to build another family behind my back. Eh? You wouldn't have come back to me if not for this peculiar condition. Oga, what do you want me to do? Go back to your mother. I'm sure she has a solution to this nonsense. It's, Get out. Listen, listen. Listen, I'm begging you. Just come so back. We've talked I, about I, this I, for I too long. No, 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 no. We've talked about this for too long. Leave. Please. Please, just go. Just go. Just go. Don't just go. do this to me. Don't do what? Don't do what? Christine. If I were your sister, would you advise me to go back to an impotent man? I'm asking you. I'll give you another man's child because of love. You can say you're selfish and you're stupid and you're devilish. It's not good for your health. Go and ask your doctor. It will kill you fast. Get out. Get out! 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 Get out. Please go, 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 get out. Get out, get out. Babe, I've been thinking of something lately. Okay. It's about your baby. What about my baby? Hmm. Christian, I don't want you to misunderstand me, please. Well, I must congratulate you. You've really proven the brave woman you are by opting to be a single mother. Christian, I want you to think about this. Is it for the best interest of the baby? Don't misquote me. If you can take your mind back when we were growing up, you know how much you love to stay in my uncle's arms. Please. Every child deserves a father. <laughs> and I don't <laughs> want you to, to deny this baby one. <clears throat> Kind of advising. Wait, so are you ad are you advising to about the trends? The man who can't keep a secret? Babe, look, he cannot father my child. It's not possible. Thank God my pregnancy hadn't shown before he exposed himself. If he likes her, let him build a house in front of your gate. I'm not going back to him. And it's final. Well, I'm not advising you. But if you can if you can let Trent go, after all he did to you, after all his betrayal. Why can't you forgive Alison? Eh? Yes. After all, it's been confirmed that he has no family anywhere. The both of you committed the same crime. Hold on. Testing, listen, please. Oh, oh, okay. Let me finish. Okay. You cheated with Trent. And he cheated with Anne. You both uh, committed the same crime. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Points of correction, not the same. He was building another family abroad. Abino. Nature turned. It's against him. Thank God. My dear, I was walking here sending money to him and he was building another family. It hurts. You don't get it. And so what's in things? It's important. Please, come on. Please. But you are pregnant. So? What he wants is a child. And you have one in your womb. And is it for him? Listen, you both can live together with the child. Allow him. him father the child. And if you want more, you can adopt. Hmm. Life is that easy, babe. You can adopt. This house is becoming unsafe for me and my baby. I have to do something about it. Would you? Yes, the please. No, 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 no. You are my cousin. So? I have to tell you the truth. Please. Stop, Paige, Paige. Let's stop this, please. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me help you carry it. Let me help you. 
Why do you want to drive yourself? Why not call a cab? Your condition does not... Stop now! Let's not do this. Please. 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 Christine, please. Ah, please. I'm begging please. you. I am so sorry. Please. Make me a father. Did you plan this? I did. I please, beg my daughter. Of God. Please. I'm begging you, please. I'm begging you, my daughter. I know I have not been so nice to you all this while. But I promise you, I will amend. <laughs> and I'll start treating you as my daughter from now on. Please. He's the only surviving child from five children. <laughs> That is why I wanted an heir for him that will carry on with her name when everyone is gone. You are his wife and you know all his secrets. Hey, yeah. Please, hmm. forgive a helpless woman. Hmm. Have mercy on me, Mama, please. Mama, you don't deserve mercy because you are far from God. Huh? So please, I don't want this page. So please stop this oh please. please stop this oh but you can't stop it oh. like this. Okay, let me call so, please, let me call please. a taxi for you. My daughter, please. Don't touch my no, don't touch my box. Do not touch my box. Please, please. You can't write like this. Please. Please, please. What is going on? Do you plan this? I didn't. You didn't. I know nothing about this. Please. What is going on? Easy, man. Easy. Easy. Uh, uh. Christine. What is going on? Why is everyone? Why is everyone like this? And how does that question give you the audacity to drive into this compound like that? Please, you guys should come for me. Hey, she's she's in the country. country. She said my house is no longer conducive for her. I'm one child. Please take her for me. But she can't leave. Please. 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 Christine, don't do this to me. Please. Please, please. please my daughter. Please give me the child in your womb. Give me what they got for bitch. And you, eh? If you don't drive out of here, I'll not hesitate to call the police on you. Please, I've come to ask for your forgiveness. Forgiveness. Please, please. I, I'm going to come here every day until you forgive and me. Because I look like God to you now. I'm not God Almighty. When well, you're confused. Nonsense. Stop it, Paige. Please, my daughter, please. Please, don't do this to me, please. Please. Please, don't do this to me. Please, please. My daughter, please, my daughter, please. Christine, please, 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 don't let her go, don't let her go, please, 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 don't let her go, come on, Christine, please, Christine, please, Come on, man. Listen, bro, re relax. Come on, bro. Re re relax. Okay, just, just relax. Take, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy, bro. Take, 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 take it easy. I I'm sorry, okay? I I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I got in, in, in between the both of you. I I'm sorry. I, I messed up your marriage. Well, come on, man. You don't love a woman for nine whole years. You, you left her for nine years. You, you don't do that. You know, that woman loves you, but she was committed to your marriage, even in your absence. She loves you, man. But look, I'm sorry. I, I stared her into all of this. It's my fault. All right? I'm not, I'm not here to fight you. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. You know, we can go. We can go get her if you want. What must it mean? It was my fault. Right, yeah, it was your, yeah, it was your fault. But you lost the most. See that child she's carrying? Mm. That pregnancy is yours. What are you talking about? It's yours. No! <laughs> she didn't mention it, she didn't say anything like that to me. What, Paige, what does it say? What, is it true? What is it talking yes. about? It's true, she was pregnant. But she never knew she was pregnant until a few weeks after she moved in with me. Babe! 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 Just go, 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 go! Kiss me! It's okay, it's okay, just sit. Oh my goodness! Just sit, kiss me! Just sit, kiss me! Kiss me, what is it? In a long while, I haven't seen... So you can smile like this? Oh, of course I can smile because... Babe, my ears are itchy. Tell me, what's the good news? Oh, 
c'est qu'un site. Non, 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 Come on, I just asked the question. Give me first. Let me ask now. Let me have it first. Let me just ask. I just asked the it's question. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. Don't kill my joy now. Yes, he's the father of the baby, but he cannot father my child. Okay? I'm going to be a single mother. I'll work hard and take care of this child. Good? Capish? So tell me, how about your parents? How would they take this? I mean, you becoming a single mom. I'll tell them everything has happened and life goes on. Have you know? Anyway, <laughs> let's hope it works how you plan it. <laughs> Babe, I'm so happy. I don't, I don't, I'm so excited. You are pregnant. I am so excited. I am so glad you have been able to prove to your mother-in-law that you can have a baby. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so happy for you. Ex-mother-in-law. Babe, whatever, whatever. Hey! Say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Fuck! Shit! Fuck! 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 <laughs> 